Hey guys, we're back working on the Cushman project, and you may remember last time we got the engine mounted, we got the new rear wheel and sprocket all set up with the custom axle that we made, and everything fits and works really well. What I quickly realized is that the clutch and sprocket on the clutch did not line up with the rear uh, disc on the rear wheel when we slid everything on, and it wasn't going to work. So what we needed to do was make a simple jack shaft that's going to move the sprocket and drive chain inboard. So what I did is went to the local hardware store, picked up some basic like tractor supplies to make our own jack shaft, and I have a little piece of solid round bar stock that I have laying around in the shop. I'm going to chuck it up in the lathe, turn it down, make everything fit, and it should uh, get us all connected so we have the rear wheel connected to the engine and we can actually move the scooter under its own power, hopefully. So let's get started. All right, so we got our, uh, what's going to be our jack shaft turned down so that we can slip fit the sprocket with its collar right over top of it. What we need to do to make sure that this collar doesn't spin on the shaft when you give it some throttle is we need to put a keyway in it. So the, the shaft, or the, I'm sorry, the collar is actually already set up for a keyway, quarter inch keyway. And this is just a common hardened keyway or key here that we're gonna put in. So we need to do the same thing on our shaft and mill a little quarter inch slot across the top of it so we can slide it on and it's a positive lock and it won't spin. So I got my quarter inch end mill in here. We'll run it across the top and we'll be set up to slide these sprockets on and almost, uh, almost home free. All right, so we went, uh, we're probably about halfway down. We wanna just go, uh, about, it's about half the depth of the key. We wanna go down, so it's, it's half engaged in our sprocket and half engaged in the shaft here. So um, I have about 60 thousandths down. I think it was like 120 or 127, something like that. So we need to go down another, about halfway, and that'll get us a good engagement in the shaft. Everything will be uh, nice and tight so it doesn't slip. All right, home stretch. All we have to do is turn down the rest of this to fit our bearing for our pillow blocks, and we're ready to get into assembling everything.
All right, so after a lot of uh, back and forth, we get everything marked out, turned down on the lathe, and, and the keyways cut and all of that. Uh, we got everything all set up, and I'm pretty darn happy with it. Got the chain uh, just cut and set up, and everything's just kind of loosely put in place. We're going to have to do the final uh, bolt holes for the, for the plate that we mount everything to when we're closer to actually riding the scooter. Right now, I don't have the wheel adjusted. The engine's not adjusted in place, so I want to get all that exactly where we need it, and then we can drill the holes. But otherwise, now we have the chain all connected, so we have the rear wheel connected to the engine and the clutch, so that theoretically this thing could actually move under its own power, which is pretty awesome. So I think next time we're going to work on getting that plate all fastened and in place, uh, and then we're going to work on doing like a throttle cable and some of that stuff so that we maybe can just do a fun little test ride in and out of the shop. Uh, that'll be a nice motivational thing to do. So that's all I have for this one. If you want to see more of the tools that we used in this video, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right.